Donald Trump's going to win because, because he moved away from guys like us. He didn't abandon us. I'm not going to go that far. And I've been looking to listen to a lot of Catholics on Twitter, mostly, uh, I keep calling it to, on X, okay? Listening to a lot of Catholics. They're all making sense in one way or another. I feel somewhat abandoned by J.D. Vance and Donald Trump, okay, because of the life issue. But then you got to remember, too, they also had Amber Rose up on stage, too, all right? Um, I, I mean, like, like this is a woman who's pro-abortion, not pro-choice, pro-abortion, okay, pro-LGBT. So they're moving away from us. Now, Do here's the difference, and then I'll throw it over, to, or, or, or then I want to play something for you. The difference is, though, if I go out into the public square and protest against the Amber Roses, or if I go in front of Planned Parenthood and pray the rosary with 100 Catholic men, all right, and try to sway people to move to, to not have abortions, women going in and try to convince them not to. Okay, here's what's not going to happen Merrick Garland is not going to come knocking down my door to arrest me. Okay, okay, in a Trump DOJ, that father who went in front of the school board and said, You knew that my daughter was raped and you didn't tell me, and he yelled at them. That guy won't get arrested under Donald Trump. So, I'm trying to take away as much as I can, if, if you know what I mean. I'd love a comment, Joe, then I want to play a clip. Well, ultimately, uh, America was never Catholic. Um, and ultimately, it's a spiritual battle. That's why we have to pray. That's why we have to fast for this country. And God will right the ship. 